Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from Absolute Soul Secrets and this is my big beautiful boy, Jupiter. And Jupiter looks a bit like an Irish wolfhound. He's half Great Dane and half Standard Poodle. And uh, he's a very affectionate and good boy. But um, unfortunately, he has inherited a problem with the standard poodle genes. Uh, he has seizures. Not very often, uh, but sometimes he'll have a seizure and uh, maybe three times a year or something like that. So why I'm here today is I wanted to tell you about a dream I had just recently. He hadn't had a seizure for a while, uh, but I had this dream and then he had a seizure the next day. Okay, down you go, big boy. Down you go. Okay, so what's uh, what happened? This was last week and uh, I had this dream. It woke me up probably about 3 a.m. and it was a nightmare actually. And uh, he was there and his third eye was white, like glowing hot. And... Um, I was with him and it was like it was so real so realistic it wasn't like a normal dream it was one of those dreams that you always remember because it's in spirit rather than just being a symbolic dream like we normally have that most people normally have symbolic dreams anyway so his third eye was white glowing hot and I went up to him and I put my hand on his third eye because I could see that there was some problem there and then the next thing I saw in the background was all these creatures. Now I've drawn a uh, I've drawn a picture. I'm not a very good drawer, uh, I must tell you, uh, but this is actually fairly like them. These grey sort of alien cross alien cross entity type creatures, and they were very fluid. And they were sort of like they were swimming in water. They had very long arms and very long legs. Uh, and there was somewhere around five or six of them, something like that. But the focus was on these two at the front. Because I uh, had my hand on his glowing white third eye, it was like they had gone into his head. And when I put my hand there, they came into me but they couldn't actually hurt me uh, I don't know why they couldn't uh, and uh, they couldn't do anything with me but I felt their energy flowing through me which I didn't like and so I told them to go and they did go uh, they went straight away you'll see here they they've got these these sort of black eyes but no mouths and they were all sort of operating on a sort of frequency level uh, as far as communication goes, but uh, they weren't uh, speaking uh, and they don't, they obviously you can't speak if there's no mouth. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so they left and that was a dream, woke me up. It was, and like I said, it was a nightmare. And then the next morning, uh, I, you know, I went back to sleep and the next morning I got up and uh, he had a fit. And I knew it was them. They were sort of buzzing around, hanging around until they could get him again. Now, the thing is, he has a genetic problem that poodles inherit. Uh, the standard tall poodle uh, inherits. So although this is a spiritual reality, uh, it's, it's not like um, just because something's in spirit doesn't mean that it manifests at physical level lots of things happen in spirit and they don't come down to a physical level you can have a very spiritual connection with a person and yet to get that in to turn into a committed relationship there's all you know there can be something in the way and so a spiritual thing doesn't necessarily manifest as a, as a physical thing uh, because physicality is the last thing to manifest and so it's got him but plenty of other poodles like his brother mercury it didn't get okay they cannot they do not affect mercury even though mercury is his brother 
So I just wanted you uh, to know about the spiritual reality that can happen uh, and that you know just because something's in spirit doesn't make it physical but in Jupiter's case it does so be aware that there are all sorts of entities and alien sorts of energies uh, in the spiritual world doesn't mean necessarily that they're coming down and kidnapping all of us okay uh, that's a whole different kettle of fish as to whether or not there are aliens actually abducting people I'm not saying that they're not uh, but I'm saying the physical is the last energy to manifest so I just thought you might find that a wee bit different and a, a wee bit interesting okay <laughs> thanks for uh, uh, watching me today and I hope you have a good week and uh, I'll be working on the uh, September tarot uh, readings very shortly please subscribe uh, to my channel if you found this even mildly interesting and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell leave me a comment uh, and a like I would really appreciate that okay thanks again and bye for now Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.